Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before the video started, I did want to address a few things. Um, again, before the video started. First, you'll notice that I skipped uh, part three of the Harry Potter series, or the Prisoner of Ask Azkaban. Um, we had a major fail happen, which you guys will see in the video. Um, but because of that fail, we didn't really get to try any vegan products. And um, yeah, so we I'll be skipping that until, sorry, Cooper. I have to skip that until I can get again with Cindy. Hopefully it'll be next weekend and we'll have it up next weekend. If not, it'll probably be after. If I don't get with Cindy next weekend, um, I'll still put up number five because I do have number five done. Prisoner uh, or the Order of Phoenix is done, but I'm hoping to get back on track, get Prisoner Azkaban done before putting up Order of Phoenix, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, second thing I want to announce is the giveaway. There is a limited edition um, special, I think pre-exclusive, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure, 100% uh, sure about that, I have to look it up, but there, it is limited edition um, giveaway that I am giving out. Uh, so be sure to keep an eye on all the videos so you get notified once that limited edition prize comes out so you can, you can see how you can get it. Um, it's super special, it looked pretty cool online. Cooper! And the last thing, I want to announce the giveaway winner for the second video that I made, the Chamber of Secrets. Um, uh, uh, the winner is Megan. Congratulations, Megan, yay. I also wanted to let you guys know, if you don't win on one of the videos, be sure to keep uh, watching the, the following videos because I do sometimes give out double, the same gift out or giveaway prize what is English <laughs> giveaway prize um, out like this video I am going to give another one of these out it is just the wrong Patronus again um, I was going to uh, give something else out for the third video but and release this later on but because of how the schedule is gonna be all messed up now I'm just releasing this now um, so yeah, if you really liked a gift that I gave away and you didn't um, win the first time, just follow the instructions to win. And, and I yeah, I think the last thing we have to discuss is just how you can win the, the giveaway prize for this video. So to win this week's prize, if you didn't win last week, all you have to do is um, make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell so you get notified, um, like the video, follow me on Instagram, I'm putting it down here for you guys so you have it. Uh, be sure to put it on Instagram uh, or follow me on Instagram because I really, really do need you guys to follow so I can DM you um, if I have any questions or um, if I need to get your address, stuff like that. Um, and then the last part of the giveaway uh, to win is uh, we discussed in the video our favorite parts of the Triwizard Tournament. Let me know what yours is. And if you had to do a task from the Triwizard Tournament, which task you'd prefer to do. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope this video, made, this little clip made sense because I feel like it was all over the place. But anyways, enjoy the video. Lots of love. Ministry of Magic visitors <laughs> after uh, apparating in here. <laughs> no.
Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back at Cindy's again. Uh, we are doing the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire um, vegan cookbook or the unofficial cookbook turning it vegan. Uh, we're doing banana fritters with caramel sauce. And if you're new here, my name is Barbara. I do lifestyle, travel, and food content. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time my new video drops. And you might be wondering what these are. Cindy actually made them. They are Harry Potter house wings with your house crest, house crest on it. They're super cute. They're like a little shawl or you could use them um, pretty much for like a little skirt at the, the beach um, and a bunch of other stuff. We were playing around with them. And yeah, it's perfect to go on little trips to the Ministry of Magic because I'm a visitor right now to Cindy's <laughs> house. <laughs> I mean, it's your house, so you wouldn't need a visitor's pass. That's true. <laughs> and you know our Ministry of Magic, though. We'll just go through the toilets. <laughs> so having a complete fail on number three, we're hoping to do a lot better this time. Yes. Please. Yes. And if you're interested in these shawls, be sure to, or wings, be sure to check out uh, Cindy's Etsy. It's called Funky Fandom Fashion. I'm going to have a link down below so you guys can have a look. She does other things also, not just Harry Potter. She does K pop shirts, she does um, Supernatural, K pop. Hey, we're in the wrong fandom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no kidding. Um, she does K-pop, she does Supernatural, um, you and have just, Styles, not Styles. Yeah, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf, that's a big one, that's Styles Jeep. Yep. So, go check it out, and there are going to be more item, items added soon. Yeah, I'm super excited, I've gotten a sneak peek, and I know you guys are going to enjoy, especially Harry Potter stuff. So, let's start on the banana fritters. Um, so this is just the banana fritters with caramel sauce. And it says, as the little excerpt that I showed you guys in the past, there you go. It says, as far as we know, no one actually eats banana fritters in Harry Potter books. It's just a password to get through the portrait of the fat lady to the Gryffindor comment room. Maybe the fat lady liked them. See chapter 25 in the fourth book. So let's get started. I think this is going to taste better than our chocolate. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of bread. And then two, two tablespoons, tablespoons of water. We're going to just put this on medium heat. Medium. Turning on the light. Two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Alright, get a little spoon. Or a big spoon. Yeah. Get that all covered with the water. Okay, so we just are going to let the water and the sugar um, bubble just a little brown. So, we can let that happen while me and Cindy discuss number four. Or Harry Potter. Goblet of Fire. Number four. Goblet of Fire. I think in Goblet of Fire, the thing that irritated me the most, I think, was Ron's turn. Ron's turn. Because he didn't. He got mad at Harry. For getting picked. Oh yeah. I mean, it, to me, it was just so stupid. It's like you already know this kid. You know him very yeah. well. You really think he'd go and sneak behind somebody's back to get to try and get fame and glory? Yeah. So number four is when Ron, I think, starts acting up. Like throughout, like after that, each video or each movie or book, it's always about him and. Him being jealous of Harry. Yes. So, yeah. So yeah, and that it, 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 he starts acting jealous of Harry in that um, in that book. And to me, it was just like, 
not real friend. Like, why are you jealous of your friend? Like, I know they're not rich or anything, like the Weasley family, but he had it so much better than Harry at times. Like, he had a family who yeah. cared about him. Yeah. But and I know Miss Weasley was sometimes had her moments with them. How dare you steal that car? But yeah. Um, yeah, that was the the movie where he started acting like that. But yeah. Yeah. So I mean, at that point, I was like, I was a little disappointed with him mm -hmm. in that regard. But I mean, and then I'm I'm kind of dis. That one was also a little weird when he got put sent down to the room and then all the teachers descended. Like, I mean, I, I know Dumbledore is supposed, to, it, it's the new Dumbledore, because, mm -hmm. what is it, after the second one, uh, Harris passed, mm -hmm. so, um, you know, so we saw the new Dumbledore last time, but, you know, I mean, this time he, like, almost really showed his youth, youth because yeah. he, like, darted down those stairs and, like, yeah. descended, Rah! why yeah. did you throw your name in there? And there's a whole thing <laughs> like, about it, because in the book, it's like, Dumbledore said calmly, and then he's just, in the movie, he's just like, wow, on Harry, it's, like, total opposite. Yeah, so there was a couple of things in there that, at the beginning, was kind of goofy. I did really like the Beau Batten's costumes. Mm -hmm. That I liked a lot. Um, actually, I liked Durmstrong as well. It was nice to see professional Quidditch at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the first taste of what Death Eaters do. Yeah. So that was interesting. And then this one obviously dealt a lot more with Death Eaters. This also had Moody in it, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was Moody. Yeah. He well, was the one who well not that it was um It was Bart Jr. Barty Crouch Jr. But... Yeah, and that was who I was trying to say Barty Crouch earlier. Oh yeah. Barty Crouch. Yeah. He um that's where we met them. Yeah. I mean Barty Crouch and Barty Crouch Jr. Well, I like David Tennant anyway. I think he did a nice job. Mm-hmm. Although he was a little weird, but I mean, I'm sure that was part of it. His whole little lip thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was part of it. Showing he was crazy. Yeah. Unpopular opinion. I don't think that the Goblet Fire movie was that great. Everyone thinks that was the best movie. Oh, I didn't think it was the best one. And I dislike it. And probably because I read the book. Um, but there was just so much missing, and I know they have a budget and all this stuff, but it's just, if you read the book, you know what I'm talking about, like the maze wasn't, there's was so much more to the maze, there's, um, there was boys at Bobaton school, there was girls, I think oh, there was, there was boys at Bobatons? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't realize that. I read the books, but I, it feels like I skimmed them. <laughs> <laughs> I've read them so many times, but I still forget things. Um, so yeah, they made it like in, all, in the movies an all-girls school when it really wasn't. So a lot of people thought that was the best um, movie. And I think it's because of all the action in it. But... I know. Well, isn't that the first time we really get into the Pensieve as well? Yeah. I mean, the Pensieve was kind of cool. I like the, the dropping into memories yeah. kind of a thing. I mean, and the book itself, definitely my favorite book. Um, I mean, I rate the books weirdly, but it's definitely top book. Anything that makes me cry, I rate very low. <laughs> so five. So Prisoner of Azkaban, I was destroyed. Why? Because there goes all of Harry's hope. He was supposed to move out of the Dursley's house. Yeah, but they, I don't think that they would have honestly let him move out of Dursley's house because of that whole blood magic thing. I know, but still, there goes the hope. He died, you know? But that, that was, oh, that was at the end of... That was five. But the, the, I'm saying, like, I I rate movie, uh, the movies or the books weirdly because if you made me cry or lose any type of hope as a child, I just, you're the worst book. So, five, oh, six, I cried and all the time. Five, six, and seven, I think, I rate. I'm just like, nope. See, I cry all the time, so it's no big deal for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't want to cry. It's supposed to be Harry Potter. It's supposed to be hopeful. No. Shh. Don't tell that to anyone. So we're just waiting for it to finish and bubble. Bubble. Well, it's gonna still bubble, but it's supposed to turn ambery. Yep. So and then we can add in the heavy cream and butter. Which one? Which task was your favorite task? Either book or movie. I don't remember the book. I mean, I liked the dragons, mm -hmm. but that's because I like dragons in general. Mm -hmm. I have lots of dragons. But I don't feel like it was a very thrilling challenge mm -hmm. because first of all, we really didn't get to see the other three. Yeah. We only got to see Harry. Harry's, which was kind of a bum. I would have liked to have seen the, the others do it as well. Um, I understand it was a constraint of time at that point, but um, we were getting there. Um, but the other thing is, is that um, I liked the way that the what is it, the mer people? Like mm -hmm. I liked, I liked the whole design of the bathroom, the, yeah. the prefects bathroom. Yeah. And the fact that the picture moved and the mer people were just so different. Yeah. Than typical mermaids. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. We're almost in amber. Yeah. Um, that was kind of cool. But in the maze would have been a little bit more cool if we got to spend more time in it. Mm -hmm. Again, I understand the time constraints. They missed a lot in the maze zone. There's like a sphinx that you're supposed to talk to. There was the Skewered something, the scorpion things, I forget what they're called, that shoot fire from their behinds. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, they're not minotaurs. Where are they? They're the skewed, such with an S. Leave it down below in the comments, let me know what they're called. Uh, but they... I think we're very close. Oh yeah, look at eight. Very amber. All right, so we're now going to add the, oops, we're gonna add the butter and the heavy cream. as much. Mm -hmm. They taste like fried things now. I'm into it. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. Could have tasted a lot worse. It just reminds me of um, fried Oreos. I cook with a banana instead of Oreo. Why are you smiling at me? I'm just enjoying it because I don't usually eat a lot of fried foods and these are banging. No. Don't judge me. Guys, this was a good idea. What? Banana fritters with caramel sauce. They are good. They are good. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you tried these banana fritter recipe, please let me know what you guys think. I really enjoyed them because I like bananas. And uh, I don't usually get to make fried stuff, so when I do, it's extra special in my tummy. They are good. I'm just full. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely better than the last, the truffles. We're not talking about it. No. <laughs> But we're gonna get going um, because my visitor's pass is expiring and it's time to go. And yeah, 
I hope you guys um, enjoyed. Be sure to check out Cindy's channel for the review of the videos or the movies and to check out her Etsy channel so you guys can get cool Harry Potter merch. Alright guys, bye! Bye! The world in action, what we can be Life with no distractions, we'll get away This is what we waited for